hoping that was it. Exactly the right wind direction. Perfect. Only we live a few days less. Live a few days less, really? Maybe. <laughs> You have more scholars? A few short ones. Join us on this bushcraft adventure into history, building an Irish Celtic roundhouse from the Iron Age and medieval times. A new episode every second week Friday until the roof is finally finished. Uploaded at noon Eastern Time US and 5 p.m. UK. Enjoy. Yeah. You know what is in that pot, huh? You smell it. We we'll get some later, yay.
How many? Supposed to be a, a bundle, about 200. Yay. Yeah, hey. No, the crack is not going. We made a boo boo. So we have this little roll laying underneath there. It creates a little a riser, isn't it? Little riser here, so the reed comes in a little bit of an angle. But here it gets all a bit weird now with the shape of the door. So what we got here is the riser going going in a bit, or the the, the ridge roll. But now this side is lower, and that side is lower. So it would be a da a riser in the middle of the reed. It would be a bit awkward now, so we have to take the thing back out again. We could have seen it before we laid the reed down, but we just laid it down and then that was it. So we're taking that thing out underneath it. It's operation on its own. Smitties, Smitties. This particular recipe, which can be found in the description, let you soak the veggies and venison in wine and herbs for the oh, day. Oh. Not for you, not for you. Then the venison and veggies have to be separated again by draining the wine into a container and picking out the venison. The venison is then fried for a bit, and on their turn, the veggies. Now 
Now everything, the venison, wine liquid and veggies are thrown back together again to stew for a bit. <laughs> oh, it has to look really decadent and good. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Throw it back. The greatest of roundhouse supporters were invited over for the venison stew. Thatcher Marika and her family, and scallop maker Brian, who from his first scallop a couple weeks ago, now is starting to become a pro at the craft. Yeah, I guess you're you don't want that. Let me get some up. A few remaining holes in the box salt layer were filled up. Yeah, and Diran yeah. will be one there on your on your left. There's a water bottle on the Yeah, that's enough for the paper. Some volunteers came over all the way from Dublin. Ah, it worked out okay. Nice one, Howard. I'm impressed. You like to be a scallop maker for profession by yeah. trade. Do you? I don't know. <laughs> How much do I get paid? <laughs> At the moment, I think 25 euro for 100. Really? It's a bit cheap, isn't it? <laughs> I like it though, it's meditative, so maybe I would. Maybe I would. I'll consider it. It's not too hot. Huh? Scar up twisting. Yeah. With the help and company of these great guys especially making scallops, the actual thatching could continue. Now we need some more scallops. Yeah, thank you, mister. Ooh. 
All the water reed was harvested by ourselves last winter, as seen in previous roundhouse episodes. Up till now, the big question has been, will we have enough reeds to finish the roof? And here we are, the roof for approximately four fifths finished, when we were close to running out of reed. There were a few options now. The first option, harvest new reed in the winter. The only time reed can be harvested and continue to build next spring. Option 2. Gather and finish the roof with another material such as header. However, this could look pretty funky on the roof. Or option 3. Buy some water reed. In the end, the choice didn't really have to be made because the greatest of supporters, Thatcher Marika, gifted us at least a hundred extra bundles. Those bundles were not up to standard for commercial use, but, but to our standards, it was actually good strong quality reed. However, full of leaves and weeds, taking a lot of time to clean. But that was the least of concern, the roof could be finished. Thanks a million Marika. Generally, the vibes are relaxed, catching away on the roof, but at particular moments that can change rather suddenly. It is important the roof is covered during rain, as water can rain in from the top in deeper layers of the thatch causing potential rot on the finished roof. Only the outside bit of the thatch may get wet, drying quickly again during a dry day or a bit of sun. Hence, a thatch roof, in theory, can last for years. In the wet climate of Ireland, up to 25 years. But for us, here in this damp forest, with leaf litter falling on the roof, and considering the quality of the reed, I think we should be happy with at least getting 10 years out of the roof. No hour goes to waste, crafting a few scallops in the evening.
Next up, the finale of the roof build. With the most tricky part, attaching the top of the roundhouse. Do we need a smoke hole and how to construct it? Also check out the other episodes, starting with digging the foundation in episode 1. Thanks for watching and support this project by becoming a Patreon. Where I also post some extra roundhouse building scenes not seen in the main episodes.